These, these, I think these are about three days old. So in 14 days, they will get all their feathers. They will grow to be about 26 grams. Sometimes when I do this, they'll lift up their heads and open their mouths. Um, I started this year and it is to look at the differences between uh, individuals of the same species, and I'm working on eastern bluebirds, that choose to settle in areas that are populated with lots of humans versus those individuals that choose to uh, settle in areas that are more rural. Just I noticed that when I approached the nest boxes to measure nestlings that um, that the campus birds were a lot more vigilant and aggressive and actually did a lot of dive bombing of me while I was at the nest. And that wasn't happening so much out at the farm, so I started collecting data on that. And it seems pretty consistent that most of the pairs on campus will dive bomb me, and very few of the pairs out in my rural sites will dive bomb me. So it seems like there's this difference, at least very, you know, very rough, uh, difference uh, in their willingness to be aggressive towards what they perceive as a predator, which is what I am. So this one's a little bigger. He might have been one that hatched yesterday versus, or uh, maybe even two days ago. There are two unhatched eggs. They usually are pretty synchronous with their hatching, but sometimes when it gets really warm, as it has been, that'll create uh, asynchronous hatching. Um, what the female does, she once all the eggs are laid, she'll start incubating, and that keeps the eggs at a temperature that causes them to develop. And if it's really warm inside the box, they might start developing before she starts incubating. And she only lays one egg per day, so they might be a little uh, out of sync with each other when they hatch. Those are bluebirds that are very angry with us because we're standing near their babies and they think we're predators, so they are trying to scare us away. The practical application might be uh, understanding from a conservation perspective uh, how birds are able to live in more urban areas. I think it's important to understand how and why some birds are able to do it and other birds are not able to do it. Songbird species in North America are, uh, have been on the decline uh, for the last 40 years since people have been um, surveying them and so I think the more we know about them in general um, the better informed we can be about conservation and management of songbird species. I went on a uh, field trip. I took a, a summer like accelerated field biology um, class. The professor's wife came along, and she was a bird watcher. And she was and it was spring, you know, summer, and she was recognizing all these birds just by their, you know, their songs. And you know, it was it was like a watershed moment for me when all of a sudden the world was filled with singing birds that I hadn't noticed before, and. I learned that you could tell them apart based on their songs. And so I became interested in birds like, you know, that day.